Alright the ladies and gentlemen, John Sweet Pea here coming straight from work this morning to bring you a Dynasty Warriors 3 Part 4. And from the green pastures of Heifei, Shun Shan Jiang moves on to the dark green pastures of Yi Wing. The Shu army has encamped on the banks of Changjiang. It's time. Spread the word. At midnight, we move to the river to face the Shu army. Yes. This battle shall surely decide the fate of Shu and Wu. But first, I must enjoy this glorious sunset or sunrise. Why is it with the Wu army in cliffs? At least Wu Zun doesn't shout like the show you did. The wind! So, last time we were here at Wu, we were here as I was here as Hung Guy. And a few complications were had. But this time hopefully things will go a bit more smoothly. But first up, let's see the introduction for the battle. Leading his forces north, Sun Quan takes Heifei, defeating its protector, Zhang Liao, in the process. With this victory, Wu's power spreads all the way north to Changjiang, further threatening Cao Cao's grip on the region. Yay! Previously, Wu had joined forces with Shu in order to oppose Wei, but relations sour as Wu plots to take back the Jing province. Infuriated, Lu Bei refuses to return the province and readies his troops for war. Which also involves Guan Yu's death. The Shu army takes its position at Yi Ling the length of their forces reaching over 700 miles in length. The Wu strategist, Lu Zhu, earnestly waits for an opportunity, and in the year 222, gives the order to go to war. Alright, once again, Shu, Shu had a lot of uh, numbers to have a 700 mile length army like that. So, they say anyway. So, you know, information wise, there's Sun Quan who, like last time, will be surrounded by a bazillion archers. Well, we would have to go over there on this occasion. And Ganning will be to the south. We'll go over and hook up with him in a little while. And there's Wu Zun, our strategist, waiting to give the order for a certain fire attack. And there's us, we are our own officer. Yay! We get to start off fighting closest to the Shu main encampment. Very good position, actually. We can probably take care of some early business if we're quick. Possibly that gate captain to the south. Wu Meng's over here, protecting the uh, base. We'll go over and hook up with him along the way. We're sort of heading over to the east gradually. And there's Sheng Pu, which will help out as well, initially. And for the Shu forces, there is Lu Bei. Who we must defeat. And. Well, Guan Yu should technically be dead, and this should technically be Ma Chao. For some reason, it's Guan Yu. So that'll be awkward. Don't know if he'll be eight star. Doesn't seem to be eight star powered up. At least max strength defense, but we will see. Nurse Xiao Yun on his own will take him out real quick, hopefully, like we always seem to do on this map. And but first, we will defeat Huang Zong. He will be in our way immediately and we'll try and deal with him quickly. And over there is Wei Yan. We must get rid of, so protect the base. And Hong Kwan with Shemoke, which we will defeat over there. So, battle conditions, pretty standard. Defeat Wu Bei, protect Hong Kwan, shouldn't be too hard, hopefully. Equipment wise, we're still stuck with the Crescent Chakron, but hopefully we'll be upgrading for the purposes of this uh, next fight. Equipment wise, I think we'll stick with attack, defense, HP, bow defense, and luck. Yeah. Stay without red hair again. I'm going to stick with these crossbows on offense. They seem useful enough. So, let's do this. And this time, let's let the fire attack succeed. No more screw ups, because last time we screwed up due to a minor technicality. Soon we will. Wow, Hong Zong's coming straight out the bat. Huh. Who says I'm too old for this? I do. You're too old for this. Go home and retire and be a family the man. Army will follow Liu Jun's lead. Let's take him out quickly. This will be an excellent start. Let's see if I can break his combo with my fourth. Nope, he's going to break mine with his. 
Oh, God. He didn't put a full attack, I see. Kind of botched that. He's hoping he'd stop at five hits. Got to be careful when engaging that. Sometimes they do just hit full eight, full six strikes. I'm getting lucky here, and every time he uses his triangle attack, he's not following it up with something immediately afterwards. Because you are technically normal when it happens. Hmm, fortunately, I can't seem to... Uh-oh. Oh, ho, 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 that was lucky. And he was off balance then when he finished his muzu, so... See ya! I fell to the first officer. I have lived well. Now let's see if I can actually ride on the white horse. And I can! Sweet! That's brilliant. Now then. Oh, this gate isn't open yet. Hmm. I guess we can't do that little gate captain elimination after all. So, I'm going to have to head to the north and help out Sheng Pu. Oh. Oh. Never mind. Gate is actually closed. Hmm. Ah, screw it. We'll come back. Zuge Leung has arrived. We'll deal with that gate later. Plus, there's a lot of reinforcements which could slow us down, which we don't want. And. Master Zuge Leung must be there. But he just arrived. However, there can be no mercy. Send a message to Zuron's unit. We will burn the Shu army as planned. Technically, this cut seems supposed to happen before Zuge Liang shows up, but apparently, if you just kill Huang Zong and open the gate, the as you can see, the music has changed to the sort of end battle. Wimbo, we are nowhere near the end of this one. Not least because we need to uh, protect Zuron this time. Yes, as RE, RE man 783 point out, the fire attacks must succeed. The reason we screwed up last time was, well, technically we did take care of Zhang Bao with Hung Gai. We didn't protect um, Zhu Ran from a few petty troops on the other side, and therefore he was defeated. So, unfortunately, you have to babysit Zhu Ran until he is complete, until the cutscene triggers to end this. That would be nice, we come on tank now there. You pests. Well, that tank, that fourth attack seems to definitely be quick enough for us to combo them infinitely, so they don't break out of it with a move or something. So now we'll just deal with that. So, the main thread out the way, we just gotta wait until Zuron decides to do his business. Take a few moments. Wow, I mean, uh, Ari Ari Man 783 also pointed out that in the uh, Zuge Leong's Sentinel Maze, there is apparently bonus health and Muzu, as in the uh, Wife and Muzu up plus 10. So we'll be paying a visit to the uh, maze to put the theory to the test. And, ooh, my funny guard, no guy there, but no. Oh, God. So we'll put that theory to the world test, see if there is anything in there. Our captain's eliminated. So, we'll see if that works. Hopefully we will be. We've had some success with, um... Uh, Zuron, could you please go the correct way? Ugh, come this way, you fool. So, we'll head this way, hopefully. And we'll just, uh... Well, we have to deal with these guys. Because these, me these mere few... Infantry held him up last time. Might as well break out the news of attack. Why not? Right, they ran out of away. Oh, they're getting picked off by my archers. Nice. Good work. Here we go. The fire attack. Woo of the fire attacks. And success. Now we can leave them alone. The Shui Captain is in flames. Wu Zun is moving out. And with that in mind, it is time for us to start killing officers off and getting power-ups and pushing the morale forward a bit. And then we'll go visit the maze. So let's see. Hmm, Shaoyun's over there, but we need to head over towards Sheng Pu first, I think. Head to the furthest, because we won't be coming back around here. We'll basically clear out all the east side of all its... <coughs> 
<coughs> Sorry. Oh, it's officers. And then we will go for the Sentinel Maze. Check out the unique uh, things that she says in there and get the bonuses. And then quit out the camp. Should be a pretty routine mission from now on. As such. Uh-oh. We may probably going to die. Maybe. Might fall. Oh, God. Might fall to uh, Wei Yan. We will see. Also, to see if Wei Yan is... Uh, Maxed out or not? But sometimes she. This is yeah. We combo again. Just four hit. They block. Yep. Another weapon. Good. Man, this white horse is definitely useful as well. So that's the end of him. We must be triumphant. And the white horse is pretty much the. Well, it's probably the strongest standard horse in the game. I mean, there's the white brown one, there's the dark brown one, and there's the white one, which is used a lot later on. So. Finding you a high enough class to um, ride them, which I am, the red hair isn't really necessary, to be honest. Per se. Because white ones are fairly decent. Oh, another army. Oh, we've been getting his butt stomped. And we're heading straight into the wrong end of town. This is the end. Oh no, I think he's about to die, folks, because I don't see him on the radar anymore. Yep, Leon's taking him out. Damn it. Not good. We're going to have to clear the lines. And unfortunately, that means two of the sub officers will retreat. Out of my way. No! I will not get out of the way. That's an interesting attack. She attacks on both sides all the time. Oh, he's not powered up, thankfully. Let's see if we can break his guard. And we can't, so let's just try. Oh, he jumped. Damn it. He hold the spear of little dragon. Oh, and he brought a friend with him. Oh boy, two on one fighting time. This could be fun. Oh, blew it. He opened up with a triangle, but we have to be careful here. We do not want to get slammed by both Xiao Yun and Wei Yan. And this sub officer guy. We need to be careful here. Oh god, this is terrible. This is not good. This is not good. Need to build up some Muzu gauge quickly. Oh, time for true Muzu. See if we can eliminate Wei Yan very quickly. Oh no! Oh, that could have been bad. You do not want to get surrounded by this many officers. No matter how much health you have. And this stupid horse guy isn't helping either. Now we can pick up some health from these people. God damn, that horse is annoying me! Ah! At least Hetang's getting his wish, I'm getting stomped around some. Oh, Weyon's almost dead, where is he? Come here. Oh! I missed. Gotta break out three moves in a minute we did with Weyon. There we go. Let's try and combo him a bit, maybe get a bit of a better drop perhaps. I. Okay. Even when he dies, he still says things in a very sort of barbaric way. Right, now to deal with Xiao Yun, if possible, and hopefully get some health back at some point. Still a lot of annoying people behind us who are really want to get the wicks in here, aren't they? Ah, guard captain. I could use that. My bodyguards are getting kicked off left, right, and centre here. Luckily, the bodyguards are also making convenient meat shields as well, so. While they die, I will live. Give me a few moments to collect some health, hopefully. Oh, no. You don't want to get caught by Xiao Yun. He's got a huge range. He's using the halberd. I think he's about to die here if I get this combo. Oh, oh. Ah, oh, yes. Beautiful. Tons of damage, but no health. I need to power up my health Mizu quickly here. Xiao Yun's about to come in. Oh, this knocks him up in the air. Boo! Yes, he's down. In battle. This honorable. Yay! He's out of here. Screw you, Xiao Yun. Your gangle potent did not work. I'm gonna break this a bit early. One zing. Yes! Just in time. Full recovery, we're back in it. Wow, I tore him to shreds with my double attack. 
Right, so now that we've dealt with Xiao Yun and Wei Yan and Guan Xing, I could have been a lot more hectic. All it would take is one good combo and I would have been dead. And that would have been bad. Ah, God, leave me alone. I am done with you guys. I need to move on. I have no time for the next of you. The Wu, Wu, Wu quote there. Go away. I'll just... She'd know better than to hit a lady anyway. Especially one who can kick this much ass. Go away. All of you. Battle take is struggling to update here. <laughs> ah, I'll disappear otherwise. And... Alright, so now we'll just deal with the gate captains. Because... I guess in the influx of the battle, it's... Wow, someone... I guess Gan Ning took out uh, Guan Yu for us. I didn't see that, so I was too busy. So, good job, um, Gan Ning. Saves me a bit of a trip. But still, I'm going to take care of this gate captain real quick. Over here, get some more... I hope this music combo works. Come on. Yeah. Oh, no. Only a plus five. I must have dropped him. Damn it. Oh well. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Unfortunately, as you go through the uh, ranks, the uh, AI gets a bit more annoying, so it's a little harder to get off back on your horse again. So we're forced to deal with um, this, unfortunately. So now we'll. Uh, we'll leave. I don't need to take care of that one. We're we gonna go away over there just for one gate captain. It'll probably die anyway. And. Just to prove my point, it's dealt with. Yeah. So while I'm heading towards the Sentinel Maze, I've been asked to give a shout out to one person who's following my channel called Afan Manic. I think I'm hoping I'm saying that correctly. Af Afan Afan Manic. Something like that. Otherwise known as Darfree, who actually attended my uh, Father Beans live stream that I did the other day. Thanks for being there. And uh, he's actually uh, got. He actually gave me a little hint, which I actually forgot about. Um, which I'm not to use yet, since I've not had a particular character that's had to use it. But, um, with some characters, I'll explain in a moment as we enter this uh, stone warrior formation. Get some peace and quiet. Yes. For those who don't know, basically the stone warrior formation is a maze, the map is unavailable inside of it. A very eerie sort of atmospheric sound plays throughout. However, it's really easy. It's just a 3x3 grid, basically. It's not that confusing. When the Dynasty Warriors games, they do actually genuinely make it longer. Some of them make it more confusing. It becomes more of a genuine maze in later games. But in this one, it's pretty standard. But a bit disorienting if you've never had the um, map taken up you before. God. So, we need to look for some bonus health and stuff in here, so we'll be searching all the pots. How many there are. As you can see, if you just go on the map, you can check your position anyway, but it's a bit disorienting, I guess. Not that much. Unfortunately, there's a few archers in here. Well. So anyway, as Afan Darfri, Afan or Afan Marek pointed out, with some characters, um, fifth combo or fifth triangle attack, if you press the triangle attack more than once after executing it, like instead of just pressing square, 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 triangle, if you keep pressing the triangle button, then you will perform additional attacks, and I believe Shun Chang Jiang is a recipient of one of these, she, which we'll find out. Oh, hold on. Isn't this the same place? She doesn't sound very confused when she says that. She's just like, hmm, isn't this the same place? A bit weird tomboyish voice there. But anyway, Shun Shan Jiang is one of the uh, people who does this apparently, which we'll test out when I get her third weapon, which hopefully should be next time, since we've already had like three weapon drops from officers. Ah, and there's the rifle. So, you're halfway right so far, Ori Ori Man 783. And we'll go find the Muzu, Muzu one if we can. And we'll look, look around. 
so we'll be testing that out with um, Shen Shang Jiang. Oh, it's one good thing about the archers knocking you off is uh, get off your horse quicker. Especially if you fast recovery from it. I'm pretty sure I remember having an extra combo anyway. So we'll test it out on the next map, hopefully. Such. So the last comment I've been kind of meaning to mention, just check these parts here. Smash. Just a life recovery. Is from Stern J, who pointed out two different things for me. Oh, nice. Good job, Wing Tong. We must oh, this time they didn't hit me. Damn it. The one time I want archers to actually hit me off my horse, they don't. So, um. He's mentioned two things. First of all, I mentioned last time that I was going on about um, unlocking Taisa Chi, even though we didn't. It turns out that the requirements for unlocking Taisa Chi are on a different map altogether. Wow, I'm going to knock around by these guys. My defense isn't high enough yet, obviously. This could be a ominous sign for things to come. Apparently, you're unlocking on the map uh, the Assault on the Wu Territory, which is an early mission that a select few um, Wu officers do get, but unfortunately not Shun Shang Jiang, so... Oh. Ow! Jesus. Right then, you want some archery? I'll give you some bloody archery. In your faces. Do I check these pots? So, I think you have to defend him or something on that map. I'm not quite sure what the condition is, but something along those lines. Wing Tong secured the gate, so I assume moving forward soon. Just need to... I'm in the center now. Just checking the parts. Stuff we missed any, so we'll carry on. Pass these guys. A little bit. So, it's basically unlocked on that map. I don't remember which uh, characters get that mission, so we'll have to find out in due course, maybe. Maybe I'll consider doing that mission in the future as a one-off sort of uh, map coverage, you know, just to like highlight the map and not do like a let's play of the whole character, because after this and the shoe officer, there's pretty much not much left to cover, honestly, in terms of new material. I mean, I'd bas you'd basically just be seeing a lot of the same missions, with maybe just one new perspective in it. So, after the shoe officer I'm going to do, I'm pretty much just going to switch my focus a little bit, Dynasty Warriors wise. And one of the focuses may be, as Stern J has also suggested, and hey, what do you know? Muzu up as well. Alright, so, both Wife and Muzu were indeed in the maze. Thank you, Pat. Oi, oi, man783. I may use this in the future for, um. Well, actually. To be honest with you, it will get easier, but it's nice to know. I'm sure this will be useful knowledge. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. The shoe officer I play may end up being on this map as well. I think they do actually, so he will be coming here too for a top up of wife and moving, though they have less reason to do so. Knowledge is power and all that. But anyway, um, after I've he mentioned about Dynasty Warriors, um... Damn it. I didn't have time to get him, but luckily I can just use the combo. But, uh, Stern J mentioned about Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends, which I also do have, and I am thinking of actually covering that. Um... Possibly after doing the Dynasty Warriors 3, actually. I mean, I know I said I'd be doing, um, Dynasty Warriors 7 at some point, and what I'm going to be doing for that is I'm going to wait to get my paycheck this month, see how much I get, and then I'll get myself a dual monitor, finally. First time in my life I'm going to have two monitors, and hopefully get one that's compatible with a PlayStation 3, so I can record off of it. And I'm not, I think I will cover Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends at some point. Most definitely. It's not a really good idea. At last we're free. That was an odd trap. Just how much you sightseeing or something. That was an odd trap. I got no souvenirs. Well, at least the good news is is that while we've been away, Wing Tong has dealt with some of the pests, so we will now help out the rest by clearing up the back lines as usual. <coughs> 
like last time. We will sneak behind enemy lines, deal with the gate, and then wrap up. We have a silly hat and an equally as silly weapon. I oppose all who destroy the peace. Okay. Fair enough. Then Mr. Wube. Ah, unfortunately this is where the archers of Shu lie in wait, but they're not nearly as numerous as the archers of Wu, I can assure you. Nowhere close. Why is Zuge Leong here? Why is there a million guys here? Probably because I'm nowhere close to getting... No, we no, got him. I, at this point, I kind of wish I had my bodyguards around, especially since Zuge Leong isn't leaving me alone for some reason. So I must be very careful here. This is not a good situation to be in. I think the... Get the fuck off me, Zuge Leong. Go back to your area and leave me alone. You're too deep. Be careful. Too deep? I've no choice. We will all day if you let you guys push through. There. Now you can push in and help me at the back. At least I got that one for Ducks too. Well, yeah, definitely Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends. I will be doing it at some point. I will do all seven campaigns. Which I hope is sort of different. I know that one or two may sort of override each other, but I will cover all seven campaigns. Because, as you know, with Extreme Legends, the idea is that you play as all of the other characters. To which I think we've unlocked five out of seven. And we'll be unlocking the other two at some point for the end of the uh, My Dynasty Warriors 3 run. Ah, and this frigging arch. And Zuge Leong is, in my opinion, I don't think he's supposed to normally be here. So I need to deal with as many of his guards. Ah, there you go. Stay stunned for a second while I try and deal with some of your guards. We, if we're going to have to fight all you guys, we can at least fight Wes off you. Ah, no! No! Damn it! Get the fuck off me! Stupid guard. Back to true Muzu mode again. Ah, there's some health over there. Did you get the health? There we go. We're good now. Ah, you fell into my trap, Zuge Leong. Well, kind of. Okay, I'm going to stun them all again. Try and deal with this stupid archer. They're the real pests, as always. And now... You die. Get out of here, Zuge Leong. You're not welcome. Unable to repay Lu Bei's trust. I can't believe you're such a weak fighter. Oh, where do you think you're going? We must Whoops! Arrows! So, Zuge Young's dead, the morale far is low, and all that's left to do now is wrap up the mission. And Zuron, fresh from initiating the fire attack, leads the charge on the mighty. I was not expecting that to actually connect, but I time it just right. And Wu Bei, as usual, has a bazillion health since he is the commander. Ow! That frigging ch charge, man. I would use it myself, but you really get the chance to. Look at that. And one thing you'll notice about the uh, enemy AI is they really do focus on the player some of the time. You'll literally see them switch as soon as you're nearby. It's got that sort of reek of I know you're the Wu state condition style thing. Some of the time though. Not always, but you know it's that a few of it here. Like I knew it can be easily distracted as you can see. <sighs> we're just a time sink on this point as always with all commanders, but they're the commanders. They're meant to be tricky. Just that sometimes it feels a bit more like a time sink, really, than anything, like, challenging, like... The only reason you're really challenging is because you have high health. But Wu Bei is actually fairly quick, so he's not that easy. As you can see, he chipped up a lot of my health with his earlier ambush. 
gosh, the a bit of steam. He's... Oh, I fucked up the Muzu again. Ah, I keep missing his Muzu attack. I'm just going to see if there's some health around here. Oh, perfect. Full recovery. Just what the doctor ordered. We can keep Zuvan alive long enough to act as cannon fodder. Maybe kill this god real quick. Get out of here. Stupid god. Be nice if some of our commanders occasionally possess this ability to have a high health pool, which I don't really do actually. I don't know if any friendly officers, even the commanders, have this kind of health pool usually. But I've not really had checked. Looks like Ruby's health has been massively chipped away, and we have to be careful now though, because True Muzu is on the way. Oh, look away, there's an archer. So I'm going to use shorter combos just to be on the safe side. Don't want to get hit by a one True Muzu ambush. Die bye, Ruby! I am your wife no longer. My brother, I'm sorry to say. But I must break our own. Consider this a final divorce, Lubei. Farewell. And yes, for those, as I probably mentioned, she was once Lubei's wife. And now she killed him. Because fuck Lubei, I guess. Alright, so, mission recap. Hong Zong fell pretty quickly for an old timer. Ziggy Leon came onto the battlefield very quickly. We helped Zuron succeed. We took out Horn Quan, unfortunately Wu Meng fell. And then we went over there in a little bit of a two, nearly three on one, but broke them apart. Took out Wei Yan, Sao Yun, Guan Yu fell to Gan Ning while we were doing that, what could we? Took out a Gate Captain, went for the Sentinel Maze, found both the Life and the Mozu power ups. Going through it, so fast forward a little bit. Oh, went to the back of the uh, shoe encampment, took out the gate captain in another almost hurry moment. Took out Zuge Liang and then just wailed on Wu Bei until we fell. Clocking in at uh, 23 and a half minutes. Not bad. It's a good time, I think. Weapon wise, present Shakram, Shakram, and finally the Lunar Shakram. We'll stick with. Hmm. Eh, yeah, that one's probably slightly better. My defense is not a big deal. Speed, music charge, and jump. Eh, I'll go with that one. And we got nice defense on the Lunar Chakram as well, which is quite nice. That'll be very handy. Rubbish, rubbish. Not really good items. Not a good item for ages, really. Unfortunately, since we lost the bodyguards, it impacts our bonus slightly, but... Kind of a, since we can ride white horses, just kind of, character development is not as big a deal for now. Ten worthy opponents, let's see what happens. We, we all got good upgrades last time anyway, so... Ah, good, they are fighters. And we're class eight. Do, 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 do. And that'll be all. Slightly better bodyguards. So let's check the rankings. Well, unfortunately, we didn't rank anywhere close to Hung Guy or Guan Yu's playthrough. Or on the KO ranking for that matter, but then again, I don't think any attempt here has had a hey KO ranking. But time wise, we are the best. Ooh. Whole minute better than the Guan Yu playthrough, and at least 10 minutes better than Hung Guy's playthrough. Good stuff, overall. So let's pop a save here and see what's up next time for Shen Shen Jiang. Oh my. I have been waiting for this one. Oh yes. Oh yes. This is going to be fucking awesome. That is all I have to say. The non man campaign. Race for awesome. Next time. I can't wait to do that. You can trust me, it's worth the wait. It's a well in my opinion it's the best map in the game. Alright, so, what did you think of... Ah, no, don't go on to a thing, thank you. So, what did you think of that, then? Did you think I did okay at Yi Ling? The... Do you want to see a playthrough of Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends after this? Or would you rather see Dynasty Warriors 7? Perhaps I'll do Dynasty Warriors 3 Extreme Legends first, and then play 7 after. Maybe. 
Would you like to see some one-off uh, map playthroughs to unlock characters like Taisa Chi or so forth? There are a few maps I could cover if necessary after this. And um, what do you think of what do you think will happen in the Nanman campaign? Coming up next. And uh, feel free to leave any comments below, and I will catch you next time for awesomeness. Till then, farewell. <laughs>